topic is about completing a piano work by Mendelssohn as this is requested by one of my subscribers. Before I start, please help to subscribe and hit like. If you like the content, please share it with people who can benefit from it. The music that I played just now was my answer for this uh, incomplete work of Mendelssohn and which is different from the original music. I took this opportunity to perform it because this is one of my favourite music and my principal study during music college time is piano performing art. So I would like to share my performance whenever I get a chance. Hope you all like it. Before I start explaining how to complete the composition, I would like to cover a little background about Mendelssohn's song without words and his love story that related to his music. Mendelssohn composed 8 volumes of songs without words, each consisting of 6 songs. Um, they are short lyrical pieces for the piano written at various points throughout Mendelssohn's life and were published separately. Usually the pieces are within one's abilities and this contributed to their popularities. They are written between 1829 and 1845. In total, there are a collection of 48 songs written for solo piano rather than voice. It was the spring of 1836 when the son was in Frankfurt with his new oratorio. At that time, one of the singers was sick and the premiere has to be postponed. The 27-year-old Mendelssohn took to the podium to conduct the singles to uh, in another performance. Among the soprano was a 16-year-old girl who caught his eye. Uh, Mendelssohn wrote to his closest friend uh, about her, about her good brown hair, her most bewitching deep blue eyes. Within a couple of days, Mendelssohn was on his way to a festival in Dusseldorf where his oratorio would have uh, its related premium. This girl was called Cecilia. He couldn't get Cecilia out of his mind. The intense energy was so evident in much of his music. The opening movement of his Italian symphony, the scherzo from a Midsummer Night's Dream, had a part to play in his personal pursuit. Within a month, he was back in Frankfurt, declaring to his family that he had fallen dreadfully in love. Then he wrote one of his songs without words, Opus 38, number 6, a piano solo written with Cecilia in mind, which he called Directo. That was a musical assertion of his most earnest desire. It was a fairy tale romance, by all accounts, uh, leading to a marriage that brought the composer a contentment which he said he had not known since childhood. The couple had five children. While Mendelssohn's uh, career took off, they settled in Leipzig where the composer set up the city's music school and took over the direction of the uh, Gewandhaus Orchestra. But not long after their 10th wedding anniversary, it was all over. After a period of ill, Mendelssohn suffered a series of strokes and died in 1847 at the age of 38. So now let's continue to talk about uh, this piece of music. This piece of music uh, that I'm going to cover is one of his songs for piano, Opus 2, number 1. When answering this question during the AMAS TCL theory exam, we need to first observe the first half of the music that was given as a guide uh, to texture and style. After that, we can start to analyze the key and modulations. We can also work it out by observing the key signatures, the accidentals, the uh, we can also work it out by observing the uh, opening and ending chords of the phrases and cadences. In bar 64 to 67, we can see that there are B flat and E flat in key signatures. And there is an unusual accidental which is a B natural. Usually the unusual accidentals can be treated as the leading note of the minor key. So if B is natural, the leading note uh, will lead to the C. Okay, so after B, the next leading note is a C. So we can assume it to be a C minor first because only minor key will raise the leading note. So B lead to C, so it can be a C minor. If you further analyze the chords, you can see that the melody given in the right hand part 
can be fitted into the chord progression of 5, 7, 6, followed by 4, 5 of imperfect cadence in bar 66 to 67. So it does make sense to be a C minor when the cadence can be found at the end of this phrase. Um, in bar 68 to 71, there are accidentals of B natural and E natural happens everywhere. So the B flat and E flat are cancelled. Same as just now, we can first assume it to be C major when all flats are cancelled. Now you can observe carefully and we can see that the melody notes in right hand part of bar 68 to 71 can be used in progression of 5, 13, 3, followed by another perfect cadence 5 to 1 in bar 70 to 71. So these are very good evidence to prove that the key is in C major. The last four bars must end with a tonic key of G, main, uh, G minor as we are requested by the instruction of this question. So I have decided to plan the melody first. And you notice I prefer to use the auxiliary note and passing note in my melody. Um, I start with repeated note and add in the auxiliary followed by D skip to the uh, leading note and tonic with passing note in between them. Okay, so uh, you can see I do this. Okay, auxiliary note then follow by passing note. Then lead to the end, uh, the tonic note. The reason why I prefer to create a stepwise melodic line is because it is um, it leads to more satisfying ending and avoid awkward intervals when the when the notes lead. The left hand accompaniment part needs to observe the style it is in arpeggios movement. So um, we need to move as arpeggios. And most of the time, we need to observe the shape of the accompaniment pattern. Uh, it flows down, first it goes down, and then uh, with nice curve, and it goes up and down again. So we need to uh, continue with this uh, curve shape also. Um, and this is a very good chance for you to practice your arpeggios also. Since nowadays, the performance exam do not test you on the scale. Okay, you can take this opportunity to practice your arpeggios scale. Of course, this is just a sample of how I completed it. There are many other possibilities and you can always explore other harmonic and melodic combinations. So we still need a teacher to help marking your work if you like to develop different musical ideas. Hope you find this tutorial useful. I look forward to seeing you in next lesson. Goodbye!